Good morning, afternoon or evening. My name is David Castillo and welcome to this channel. And we are talking ab about in this video for the Wellman certification exam for SOLIDWORKS. Uh, I'm going to give you my best uh, tips for this exam. So let's get started. So uh, first of all, in this certification exam, you are gonna find uh, 26 questions. Uh, the topics for these questions uh, are very variable from forming a profile for the development and either forming a structure with development profiles. Uh, there, there are 26 questions and you will have two hours to finish the exam and you will need a minimum approbatorial uh, punctuation of 190. Uh, as a reference, uh, you for the for the goal for this exam is so you are very uh, expert or you are an expert on doing a bill of materials from structures from building structures from a given sketch and adding uh, even the same or different profiles for the same sketch or structure uh, or uh, adding uh, different corner treatments of each structure also adding new profiles or uh, an advanced uh, uh, skills on administrate the given uh, profiles or adding new ones. So uh, for best explanation of uh, what you are going to do in this exam, I'm going to share the view of SOLIDWORKS. So you can see right now uh, an example of a profile this is a new one, so maybe you need to do something very similar to this, uh, adding the profile and uh, saving as, as a library feature for the profile, Wellman profiles. So you need to add the insertion points also and save it correctly in the folders as needed. Then with the profiles you are adding and also the profiles that you have by default on the library, you may probably uh, add a structure and or a frame. So you add this kind of, uh, uh, of profiles, either the ones you made or the ones that are in the library. You need to be very careful on assigning the correct material for according to the uh, exam question so it's very important to read carefully the instructions for the exam to add the correct material and the correct profile also uh, you need to uh, be very careful on adding the structure as uh, they require on the exam you maybe need to know to add these caps, these end caps, and you need to read carefully the options you need to add for these caps. Uh, beside that, uh, there's a, a kind of complicated uh, portion of the exam that you will need to uh, build a 3D sketch of, uh, of a drawing and maybe it's a little bit time consuming doing that so you need to be very careful on doing it and as a tip for that i suggest you to let that uh, portion of the exam at the end S because there's there are only around three questions to do in the, this 3d structure but it's a little bit of time consuming so to don't put re in risk your certification it's better to let uh, pass that portion of the exam for the last la the last question you will answer and answer all the other questions so so you will have enough time to do this portion of the exam 
of the exam and don't put at risk the certification because it's not that complicated but it's time consuming to build correctly the the 3d sketch and adding the portion of weldments that it's required and as for that uh, also for the exam maybe you will be required to give a treatment of uh, corners different treatments because uh, in some portions you will have um, what, uh, one corner one type of treatment and in other corner another one in this case you need to be very be very careful with the options of the of the corners and select correctly the options you will need not all the portion not all the corners but the corners required so this is one of the things you must uh, must do correctly must do in expert expertly and the other thing that you will need for this exam is uh, performing the trim and extra and extend option because in some exam in some portion of the exam uh, you have uh, a path or a sketch in a path in in a sketch that maybe will be a bit, little bit longer than required for that uh, that uh, structural member so for remove the the all this part of all, all this not needed portion of the path you will need to perform the treat uh, the trim extent and most of all that's all the operation you will need for this exam uh, as for me, I was asked uh, several times about the difficulty of the exam, so I placed this exam as the third one in easiness. I guess uh, the CSWA is the easiest one. Then you will have the drawing tools exam that it's uh, pretty much easy. And then is this one. It's pretty easy, but the thing is that you have a lot of questions to answer in this so the portion of the 3d uh, sketch it could be a very very uh, time consuming so that's uh, my tips for this exam i hope uh, it will serve to you if it's the case please like the video subscribe share with your colleagues and Thanks uh, for watching. Don't forget to click the bell so you get notified about the new videos and we'll see uh, we'll see us soon. For me it's all. Bye.